In this video, I'm gonna share proven tips for you to get an A in biology, physiology, and any of the other ologies. If you're struggling to get by, watch this video. Let's do it. Hey, this is Leslie Samuel here from Interactive Biology, where we're making biology fun, and I have a confession to make. I was actually a terrible student. In my first biology class in college, Foundations of Biology, I got a, man, I, should I even really say it? Okay, I'm gonna be real. I got a D. Yeah, I got a D. I had just moved to America from St. Martin, and I was having fun. I mean, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. Fortunately, by the time I reached to upper level courses like systems physiology, cellular and molecular biology, neurobiology, I got myself together and I figured it out. When I did study in the past, I'd been doing it the wrong way all along. I was making it much harder on myself and maybe you are too. But let me give you seven tips that are gonna help you to get that A that you wanna get. Now these seven tips may not be new to you, but most of them were new to me. And I believe that somebody is gonna watch this and think to themselves, that's something I'm doing wrong. If that person is you, congratulations in advance. So without further ado, let's get to my seven tips. Tip number one, take lots of notes or have access to someone who does. Let me let you in on a secret. Most professors cover the things that they think are important in their lectures. So the more you can get from their lectures down on paper or on your laptop, the better off you're gonna be. This was the saving grace for me, many of my fellow classmates, uh, many students years after, and it forms the basis for what we're doing here at Interactive Biology. I try to get as many details into those notes as possible to the extent that I could read through my notes and remember how the professor said the things that I wrote in the notes. I remember going back to the school years after and students were still passing down my notes, the ones that I had taken years before. Yeah, it was that deep. Okay, let's move on to tip number two. If you learned a concept today, study it today, not tomorrow, today. I made this a habit. When I left class, I went to a friend's dorm room uh, before even going home, and we would spend about a half hour going over the concept we had just learned in class that day. That way it was still fresh in my mind and easier for me to remember. And not just that, it allowed me to reinforce the concept that I had just learned and that helped me in so many ways. All right, tip number three, review what you learned today tomorrow. In addition to going over the concept that we had learned in class that day, we would review the concepts that we learned in the previous class. Since the information usually builds on each other, yes, we are going to get some of that repetition naturally. However, it's always good to intentionally go over older information. By the time you do this, you will have gone over that information three times. Once in class, once right after, and once the next day. It's a beautiful thing. And since you're not letting it build up, it's not a ton of info to go over. Let's move on to tip number four, have a study partner. This was already somewhat mentioned in tip number two, but it's important enough to have it as a totally separate tip. I had a study partner and we got along very well. It was my boy, Roberto. We went over most of the content together and asked each other questions. This helped us to really drill in what we learned. You know how they say that two heads are better than one? Well, it's true and it worked for us. Okay, my favorite tip, tip number five, teach someone. Man, one of the things my partner and I did on a regular basis is that we taught each other the information that we were trying to learn. And what we found was that when this was done, this was one of the best strategies for learning. I think this is one of the reasons why I love teaching so much. I get to learn a bunch. Shoot, that, it's why interactive biology exists. I love to learn. So I teach. I mean, I also kind of like helping you out. So it's a win-win all around. Yeah. All right. Tip number six. Now this one might seem counterintuitive, but I love it. Here's the tip. Relax on the day before the test. It almost sounds crazy, but I found this to be the most rewarding thing ever. I remember how stressed so many of my classmates were on the day before tests. But for me, I was chilling. I mean, the only time I went over the content the day before was when I was helping others who weren't as prepared. Man, I was cooling. And finally, tip number seven, 
take care of your body. I know, I know you may not want to hear this, but it's true. The mind doesn't operate at its best when your body is taking a hit, staying up late, eating a bunch of junk food, being a lazy bum, not exercising, all those things. They work against you when you're trying to get an A in that difficult class. So cut it out. Take care of yourself. I mean, if you're not around, who else is going to subscribe to my channel? <laughs> Okay, I'm joking. Well, wait, no, I'm not fully joking. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe because you love biology. And if you don't, just watch a few more videos. I'm going to make you love it. Anyways, there you have it. If you take my advice on those points, man, you're going to do much better than you thought. Of course, I don't have all the tips. Now it's your turn. What's your best tip for passing biology classes? Let me know in the comments below and then go and watch some more biology videos because biology is awesome. That's it for this video. My name is Leslie Samuel from Interactive Biology where we're making biology fun and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.